Hey friends, welcome back to Season or Apron and welcome to Motivational Monday. All right, we are still in our zone cleaning. We are in week five this week. If you follow the Fly Lady zone cleaning method, I'll have a link down below. We're in zone five, which is the living room, great room, family room, whatever you want to call it. And if you have multiple of these rooms, like a den, family room, living room, all that, you can focus on one room or 15 minutes in each room. So again, with the zones, you could do 15 minutes a day in each of those zones, decluttering or deep cleaning. Or sometimes like me, I pick one day out of the week where I choose four things and get those done within one hour. Or I pick one thing and get it done in the hour. And that's how it works for me. So, okay, so today, well, let's talk a little bit before I show you my cleaning, what we do in zone five. But once you get through the clutter, like zone cleaning is gonna be a breeze because your clutter is gone and cleaning 15 minutes in that zone will be a breeze. So right now if you have the clutter, we can declutter. So here's some things you can think about that you could declutter in this zone. Um, you, If you have a coffee table that's just piled with uh, magazines, go through your magazines, toss the ones, recycle them. Um, but some of those have got to go. Put out any fires, so if you have end tables or coffee tables or bookcases in these rooms that are like the hot spots everything just kind of like gravitates to and gets piled on to you want to declutter those areas of your home and if you have nothing to declutter yay you can deep clean and some of the things you could deep clean are um pulling the couches away from the walls vacuuming behind them Pulling the cushions off your couches, vacuuming inside the cushions, around inside the cushions. Straighten up your bookcases. Um, reach those eaves where there's lots of spider webs if you have any, you know, oh, those guys are little, little buggers. Deep dust, high areas. Um, if you have a fireplace, well, a real one, <laughs> clean out your fireplace. You can wash windows. And one that I love to do when I'm deep cleaning in the zone five is wipe down the walls of any little fingerprints from all our favorite little people. You gotta get their fingerprints off the wall. And this is one I do very often in this zone. But much you can do to clean in zone five. So that's what we're gonna hit this week. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, my goal today is, um, this room that we're in right now is my great room. It's when you walk through my front door, this is the room that greets you. What I do is I actually put this room in zone one, the entryway, the dining room. Um, I put this one in that zone. But today I'm actually going to concentrate on one task in this room. I have this ottoman here in my living room. And this is where all of our family home evening scripture study devotional things go into. And I love that they're hidden away so it's not cluttered. But I have, when I cleaned out the bookcase from zone four, if you guys remember that, you could click on the link to watch it. I had books and, and materials that got drifted into my room that need to go in this ottoman. And I thought, I'm not going to add more to the ottoman unless I go through it and see if there's anything that I could pitch. So I do want to get that done. And then we're going to go down into my basement oh, where our family room is. And oh my gosh, I never go in that room. I try not to go in that room. That's where the kids hang out. And we do watch movies as a family there, but I don't know. I just, it's just an area of the home that I honestly dread. Um, and you might, you guys might have a room in your home that you honestly just dread and ignore. And if you do, leave it in the comments below. We would love to know which room. I'm going to head down there because when I put all my points set as away at Christmas, I put them in the back of underneath the stairs there in the family room because they don't get dusty, they don't get trampled on, and they're really safe in the back little cubby hole. Well, I pulled everything out and went through things. Um, I junked out a whole bunch of stuff, but I did not put away the sleeping bags yet. I haven't gone through them yet. I think it's, I've had anxiety about it. So I need to go through the sleeping bags and put the rest of that back into that closet. Do you guys remember our motivational Monday before Christmas when I pulled things out of our food room and I put them on the ping pong table and I was supposed to like right after I made that video, go give them a home. I didn't give them a home. They're still on my ping pong table. So I am doing my ottoman, the closet underneath the stairs, the ping pong table, 
And then the last one that I want to do is um, wipe down the walls and dust. You guys ready? Let's do some zone cleaning. All right, zone five, let's go. Apron's on, I gotta get my apron on, and let's hit it. Okay, I brought my garbage can over to throw away anything that needs to go in the garbage, and then I'm making the pile of things where they don't belong in here and they need to go to their home. And then I'm gonna have a de-junk pile that I could donate. These are the bags of um, sleeping bags, and we don't need this many, so I'm going to go through them and donate the other ones, so, yep. This is the closet under the stairs. Um, it's hard to see, but I have poinsettias in the back in bins. They don't get dusty in there, and they're protected back there, so that's where all my poinsettias go. Here's our luggage. It's in here until we can get them out in the garage on the shelves. Um, this is the extra mattress that we have. We use it when people come to stay over. And I downsized our blankets to two bins. You guys, if you remember from old videos, I'll try to link them. This thing was like flooded with blankets. But now we're down to two bins. So I'm quite happy about that. Okay, so over here I have a couple of bags uh, for donate. Uh, pillows that I could toss. A blanket that's garbage. It's all ripped up. Uh, I'm making a donation pile upstairs in the family room, so, um, so yeah, so there has been a big dent in this area. Here, I have all the guests' blankets and sheets and that bin there, and their pillows are back there, and the rest right here are sleeping bags, and Derek helped me go through them. We got one for each of us, so the sleeping bags are here, and the extra pillows are in here, so this is good. This is a closet that I don't want to go in and out and get stuff out daily or weekly or whatever. The only thing here is these blankets. So if the kids need a blanket while watching a movie, it's right up front. And they don't need to go digging. So I am happy, happy right now. I moved the luggage, if you're wondering where the luggage is. Um, I moved the luggage into the cold storage room. It's all stacked from here down on this side. Um, the rest of the things that we don't use often are in here. So I still have room in my cold storage room that I am going to go through and put all the canned goods in now that are on my ping pong table. Okay, so what's left basically is all like the little kitchen things, canning things um, that need to go in the food room and the cold storage room. So I'm going to go through all this stuff, organize it up, and um, yeah, and get it in there. So... Yes. And then we could play ping pong again. We miss it. <laughs> okay, went through the canning stuff um, that I had piled up here. This is all the big jars. And I have a bag full of the lids. And when I start canning this season, a lot of these lids can be tossed. Um, but for right now, I just kept them in there. All the tools I need for canning are in here as well. And then this jar, this box is full of little jars. There's these little jars here. And some this size and some, like half this size as well. So, um, oh, and I also need this. So, okay. So this is what I'm going to do for now until I can put them in a bin to seal them up. But I'm hoping I can do a lot more canning this year and I could use these up. So I'm going to get these in the cold storage room. I also have the Ball Blue Book Preserving Cookbook. That is going to go up in the uh, upstairs in my recipe book cabinet. 
as well. I was keeping it with this stuff, but I don't want it to get ruined. I'm just going to keep it in the cookbook cabinet. So the dangerous thing with me and decluttering is that I could see another pro project that could get done as well. So putting the canning stuff in the cold storage room, I put them all on top on that shelf, all on top. So they're stacked high. Secure, perfect spot. Well, I noticed a few shelves down, there's some things from the kitchen that I brought down and just stored in there. And I'm thinking, hmm, I should go through this, sort through it, do I want it? And I'm like, no, we're not decluttering the cold storage room yet. You know, and so it's just like, part of me wants to start another project. And this is what gets me in trouble, so. And I won't finish it, like I did with the sleeping bags here, like I did with the ping pong table. And I get super distracted, and so, huh. But it eventually gets done. Like the ping pong table, guys, remember when I decluttered the food room and I put the stuff in the ping pong table? It took, according to the, when I looked on YouTube, it said that video was from a month ago. So it does not make me happy. So I'm just gonna finish up here and then during the week, if all my zone stuff, I, if I wanna do more, I can do that. But I can't start that project right now, but part of me so badly wants to. But nope, I'm going to ignore that feeling. <laughs> Ping pong table is cleared off, but that is taken care of. Things are put in the food room and cold storage in like categories. And I will go through those two rooms another day. joining me I hope this was motivational you can, you got this week you can get zone 5 done and I'm excited to hear what you do in zone 5 so please leave down below what you're gonna conquer what you have conquered in zone 5 I would love to know thanks for joining me and if you're new here click my face up above so you can subscribe and check out these two videos over here for you especially that motivational Monday playlist lots of motivation for you all right thanks for joining me we will see you bye